House will be in order. Gentleman from Illinois. Whereas on October the 2nd, 2011, the Washington Post reported a story called, and I quote, Rick Perry and a word set on stone, unquote. Whereas upon reading that story, the vast majority of the people of the United States were morally outraged. Whereas most of the facts in this resolution come from that Washington Post story. Whereas Governor Rick Perry has described a childhood in Haskell County in Pank Creek, Texas, as the centered on Boy Scouts, school, and church. Whereas Texas Governor Rick Perry is from West Texas and was originally a Southern Democrat, often known as a Dixiecrat who switched parties in the late 1980s to become a Republican and is currently a leading Republican presidential candidate. Whereas ranchers who once grazed cattle on the 1,070-acre parcel in Throckmorton County on the Clear Fork of the Brazos River, near where Governor Perry was raised in Pank Creek, Texas, it has become a hunting ground that was called by the name, and I quote, Niggerhead, well before Governor Perry and his father Ray began hunting there in the early 1980s, even though there is no definitive account of when the rock first appeared on the property. Whereas the use of the term niggerhead to describe a hunting retreat is morally offensive. Whereas Ronnie Brooks, a local resident who guided a few turkey shoots for Governor Perry between 1985 and 1990, said he holds Governor Perry, and I quote, in the highest esteem, unquote, but said that of this rock at the camp, quote, it kind of offended me truthfully, unquote. Whereas Haskell County Judge David Davis, sitting in his courtroom and looking at a window there, said the word was, quote, like those vertical blinds, it's just what it was called. There was no significance other than a hunting deal, unquote. In other words, the judge was morally vaucous. Whereas the name of this particular parcel did not change for years and for many remained the same after it became associated with Rick Perry, first as a private citizen, then as a state official, and finally as Texas governor. Whereas some local residents still call it by the morally repugnant name, niggerhead. Whereas recently as this summer, a slab-like rock lying flat, portions of the name still faintly visible beneath a coat of white paint, remained by the gate entrance to the camp. Whereas, asked last week about the name, Governor Perry said on the rock is an offensive name that has no place in the modern world, implying that it may have been okay and had an appropriate place in that community when he was growing up. Whereas, Mary Lou Yeldell has lived in Haskell County, Texas for 70 years and recalls the racism she feels in the 1950s and 60s in West Texas when being called an offensive name like Whites greeting blacks with, quote, morning nigger, was like a broken record. Whereas Throckmorton County, where the hunting cap is located near Haskell County, was for years considered a virtual no-go zone for African Americans because of old stories told by locals about the lynching of African American men there. Whereas Haskell County began observing Martin Luther King Jr.'s day, his birthday celebration, just two years ago, according to a county commissioner, in Haskell County. Whereas Governor Perry grew up in a segregated, area, a segregated era whose history has defined and complicated the careers of many Southern politicians. Whereas Governor Perry has spoken often about how his upbringing in his sparsely populated farming community influenced his conservatism. Whereas Governor Perry says he mentioned the offensive word on the rock to his parents shortly after they signed the lease and he had visited the property and they rather immediately painted over the word during the next July 4th holiday. But seven people interviewed by the Washington Post said they still saw the word on the rock at various points during the years that the Perry family was associated with the property through his family, partners, or a signature on a lease. Whereas another local resident who visited the property with Governor Perry and the legislators he brought there to go hunting recalled seeing the rock and the name clearly visible. Whereas how, when, or whether Governor Perry dealt with it when he was using the property isn't clear and adds a dimension to the emerging biography of Governor Perry, who quickly moved in the top tier of Republican presidential candidates when he entered the race in August. And whereas Herman Cain is the only Republican presidential candidate to criticize Governor Rick Perry for being insensitive when the word was not immediately condemned 
But we would remind Herman Cain that the word is insensitive, it is also offensive. Now, therefore, it be resolved. Resolved that the House of Representatives call on Governor Rick Perry to apologize for not immediately doing away with the rock that contained the word niggerhead at the entrance of a ranch he was leasing on and which he was taking friends, colleagues, and supporters to hunt. It calls on Governor Rick Perry's presidential rivals, who've not yet made strong statements of outrage over the rock that contained the word, to do so. It calls upon Governor Rick Perry to condemn the use of this word as being totally offensive and inappropriate at any time and at any place in United States history. And lastly, it calls upon Governor Rick Perry to list the names of all lawmakers, friends, and financial supporters he took with him on his hunting trips to niggerhead.